Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Retro Alliance Gaming. So we are going back to Alucard Plays the Classics and I am going to beat Batman on the NES. So let's go ahead and get started. This game is a uh, childhood game I remember and when I was a kid I was never able to beat it. But really quick look at that opening cutscene on the NES 8-bit when he jumps out of the car. That is so badass. Anyways, um, so as I'm going through this, I might be talking a bunch of points, and some points I might not be talking at all. It just depends because sometimes I uh, get really, really focused in, so we're just going to have to see uh, how everything goes. But anyways, let's get trucking. Uh, one thing I, I did want to say as I'm running through this, hold on, move it, bam, bam, hit, hit, hold on. <laughs> Running, freaking fire guys, hit, do your thing, go, hit, nope, shit. Okay, hey, hey, hey. okay. Anyways, guys, one thing I wanted to say from when I was a uh, kid, I remember all these Batman games coming out, and I always remembered this one being one of the best Batman games, but it was also one of the Batman games that I never actually got a chance to beat. But that was a lot of games when we were kids, wasn't it? It's, it, it's like nowadays, um, I don't mean to sound old like back in my day, but nowadays, you know, when people have games, there's checkpoints, there's, you know, unlimited, is, you don't have to worry about continues or anything like that. You know, they're difficult in a different way, but back then, games were not like this at all. And we didn't have any help. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have any of that stuff. The only thing we did have was 1-900 numbers. And I'll tell you right now, I spent quite a bit of time calling these numbers and I spent quite a bit of time being grounded because they cost a lot of money so you would call these people and you'd be like um okay so I'm on so and so level or Mario you know 5 8 nobody called from Mario that game was easy enough to be but you get the drift and it'd be an RPG or Zelda or anything and you'd be telling them where you are and they'd be looking all of this up and they'd give you a hint and you get right past the point you need it to be you end up charging up like 20 or $30 in a bill, and you just get stuck again, you know? Back then, they did have strategy guides, but uh, not as plentiful as they do now with literally everything. So, anyways, going back to Batman games, uh, they have so many. This one was one of the best, I think. Uh, Batman Returns on the Sega Genesis, not so good, uh, but on the Sega CD... It was awesome. I absolutely adored it on the Sega CD, and it had the 3D driving stages. Um, they also had this Batman, uh, the original Batman for Sega Genesis, which is a badass game. You guys should totally check out. And um, they had it for Turbo Graphics, and it's kind of weird because it's kind of like a labyrinth kind of game. Um, but it's actually really fun, and I really liked it. It was just you didn't have a lot of the uh, Batman action that you have in this game, but. Uh, this is one of the ones I always wanted to go back and beat, and I'm having a blast doing this. So, uh, so far, if you look, I have beaten Ninja Gaiden, I was very proud of. Uh, Fester's Quest, which I hated as a kid, but I like it now, and I beat the living fuck out of that stupid fucking game, and now I have a soft spot for it. Um... I've already beaten this game, and a couple others, but I didn't capture it, because I played through them first. And beat them and then when I'm done I go back and I capture just to get a feel of all of them but right now we're shooting through Batman and I have other NES classics that are gonna be coming and Genesis game so if you guys are listening and there's a game you think I should try and beat um, by all means uh, post it below but just FYI if it's a terrible game I might not play it kind of like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde I am trying to determine if I want to play that game or not and I'm not sure because it's so bad it's just a horrible game okay hold on now let's go ahead and take care of this boss guy really quick okay run around jump this guy all these guys always have combinations in everything you're doing that's the thing about perfecting classic 8-bit or 16-bit games is you just need to notice exactly where they're going and what they're doing and they're going to re rinse and repeat 90% of the time like this guy fly around come down shoot fly around come down shoot now I'm going to try to hit him so hold on guys fuck hold on 
Okay, fuck you. Come on. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Hit. Okay, damn it. He keeps hitting me. Boomerang. I gotta hit the boomerang a lot faster. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Come back around. Come on, dude. Do, 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 do. Go, go. Bam. Okay. One down. Next one to go. I saw a guy do it. Oh, God. Hold on. This car. Just looking at this is so awesome. The cinematics. I love uh, the developers of this game. They really put their time into it. Um, so, you know, people always told me they thought the music in this was the best ever. And when I first heard it, I thought it was good music, but I didn't think it was by any means, like, the greatest music I've heard. I, I still don't, but the more I played this game... I realized that the music is actually really great and I enjoy it. It's just initially when I played it, I was hoping to hear like a Batman theme, you know what I mean? And it's not exactly a Batman theme, but it is uh, really good nonetheless. Anyways, dun 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 Sunsoft always made the best freaking games, I swear to god. Well, most of the time they made the best games. Ocean made some good ones too. Or as AB Jan would say, anything that didn't come from LJN. Although I will say, coming from LJN, there is one game called TNC Surf Design. I don't know if you guys have played it, but um, I love the game. It's amazing. And I always wanted to beat it. And then I found out recently that you can't beat the game. It just goes on and on and on with the skateboarding. And um, it got me mad because I'm thinking there's got to be a way to get past it. But maybe it's like an Atari game where it just doesn't end. And I was like, uh, can I freeze the screen at least? Okay. Keep going. Dun, dun. Yeah, the, a lot of the reason I like playing this game before I go and I capture it, I want to get a good, um, you know, feel of the game and everything because it's been a while since I played it. And uh, I really need that. But seeing a guy do a speed run in 12 minutes, I was like, what? Although I kind of felt like there was a, um, he didn't have a hit detection, like a cheater or something, I and mean, I'm not really sure about that, but, um, yeah. Dun, 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 let's keep going, we got to jump, dun, 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 another great thing about this game is, and I am sure a lot of people have said this before, it is literally like Ninja Gaiden, but with Batman, like the way that you jump off everything, and that's what makes it really, really fun. Ninja Gaiden, probably one of my favorite NES games ever made, um, next to uh, Shadowgate, and I don't know, there's, there's quite a few. Uh, Gremlins 2, the new batch, but uh, this game's badass. I wish it would have had a uh, proper sequel to this game. You know, they had Batman Returns, which was pretty good. Um, in certain ways on certain systems like I said Batman Forever though and uh, Batman and Robin the worst ever just nothing nothing good Fun jump jump let's keep going okay shoot this guy before we get up there there we go well I think the NES games it's all precision and about making smart decisions and knowing um the game's weaknesses, ways that you can get around certain things, you know? Or, I don't know if I call it weaknesses, but kind of like in Ninja Gaiden, if you scooch forward a bit, the enemies will end up falling off before you run forward, and you know, everything in that damn game tries to kill you. I swear to God, I was so excited to beat it. Okay, there we go. Use the right power up, dude. Come on, let's go. Jump, jump. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is so much fucking fun to do. And try not to slam into everything like I'm doing right there. Go. Yeah, and then just punch these guys. It's like, Jesus. One good tip for this game, uh, when it comes to uh, bosses that I've noticed, I'm not sure if it's all bosses, but I know it's for the finale, um, is when you're punching them, or like um, 
when I was fighting the Joker the first time I played this, which I'm still going to freak out this time because it's been a while. And it's just got, it, that game gets my, this game gets my heart racing, but I, um, I remember when I was punching him, when he's running through you, um, it makes you, it makes you where he can't hurt you, it makes you invincible as long as you just keep spamming that punch button. I remember that being really, really fucking important. I'm talking about this early, but it's all good. Okay. Slide down, jump! Fuck! Okay. Dun dun. Dun dun. I fucked up. Dun dun. Punch. Shit. Come on. Bullshit. Come on. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 You guys sick of me singing. Okay. Okay, let's just hit this guy with a boomerang. Keep going. There we go. Okay, run, jump, go down, you jump up very lightly. Well, another thing I like about this game, and it's really important, especially when you're jumping off walls and you're trying not to get shocked, is the amount of time you hold down the jump button is how much he's going to jump, you know what I mean? So if you lightly press it, he'll just do a slight jump versus, you know, pressing it fully. And I noticed that was really important, especially when you're climbing towers like this or at the end of the game, you know, the infamous tower. I actually love the tower, I think it's a blast, kind of like the Ninja Gaiden, you know, the final uh, three levels you have to go up. I found Ninja Gaiden to be more difficult than this game in general, um, including the ending. I just think it is a more difficult game, but I have to give it to them on the Joker. When you first fight the Joker, he just murders you without even, ah, fuck, without even doing anything, he just murders you. Like, you really have to, like, you run out, and you need to know what you're doing with that. And uh, it was trial and error for me. A bit of trial and error. Uh, I looked up a few strategies to seeing like, with different people, like, how they like to approach it, you know what I mean? But before I did, I tried to um, run, jump, and kill them as many times as possible. And then, uh, yeah, I just kind of looked at a few things and came up with my own stuff. The game is pause time, pausing it right now. Time to drop. My girlfriend was looking at me and it's kind of weird. She breathes heavy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like fun stress. She writes for a living, so. No, it's not fun. I'm stuck and I don't know how to start the scene. Well, definitely don't start it with I'm Batman. He doesn't. I think Batman exists in every universe. Not most of them. That's canon. Yeah. Yeah, she writes these books, uh, Chronicles of Lasai, and they're freaking amazing, and there's so much stuff to them, and so many timelines. I mean, things she has to connect together. Oh, yeah. I probably shouldn't give stuff away, should I? <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. I always remember when I read, uh, yeah, go back and read it. Okay. This is important right here, guys, by the way. Spamming these things. Because um, you can get all the energy and missiles you need for the bosses, which is important. And also, if you're low on health, you can get hearts. But you need to be careful because when you duck and they come, you need to spam that. See how I got hit? You really need to spam that button and hit it hard. But this is a really good way to fill up through the level. So that's what I did. In fact... I think I'm probably overdoing it here, but it's all good. I need a burp. <coughs> Come on, give me a heart. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Here we go. Give me a heart. I don't need to fill up fully. Let's just go. Come down. Shit. Okay, whatever. It's one hit. Run, shit, duck it and fucking hit, no, mm. Bet down, duck, oh there we go, punch, run, punch, punch, run, 
There we go. Drop down. Oh shit. No. Let me go this way. Okay, jump down the middle. There we go. Okay, come on. It <laughs> fuck shit. It okay. You guys ever do that thing when you were a kid where you like take the controller and you're trying to jump far so you jump you lift the controller up as high as you can like you think it's gonna make you go further and it's not I think that was the whole idea behind the Wii because with that you can actually lift the controller and make it jump okay shh, gotta deal with this fucking boss I remember the strategy of this I gotta jump when he's shooting there shoot him with missiles right here get rid of all of those you could do this without power ups but okay there we go Okay, jump down. I need to get up there and I need to shoot laser over there. Don't hit that. Okay, let's get him. Now always remember right after I destroy this, that force field goes down on the right and then that fucker comes up and uh, hits you really hard. I know there's two ways to do this. Uh, one is standing back and shooting him from here, but I have issues sometimes, so um, if that doesn't work, I, I'll go about it in another way. Okay. See? Every time you go to hit him, he blocks. It's like you got to do it at a certain time to be able to hit him that way, I think. I don't know, maybe one of you guys who are playing below were looking, so one sec. Okay. See, that looked like it should have hit, but every time you do it, it closes and he goes back to shoot. I know I've done this before. I've destroyed him this way before, but it's not going. I guess I'm just not timing it right, but I feel like... Ugh. I feel like every time you go to shoot, it automatically changes back. Which... Okay, whatever. I'm running out. I'm going to have to go down there and try to get him. Okay, jump, jump, hit, oh shit, jump, down, down, down. Okay, wait for him to shoot. Okay, jump, jump, hit, and then run down, run down, run down. Jump, fuck. Okay, go, go, hit, 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 down. There we go. Jump, jump, hit. Bam! Fuck you. Done. Okay. Have you ever danced with the devil in pale moonlight? Ha ha ha. Best Batman movie of all time. Oh, I fucking hate these guys. These guys are the worst. So what you want to do... Oh, shit, hold on. Nope, once they get you like that, you're just screwed. It's just dead. Because they always jump right on top of you, no matter what you do. There's a much better way of uh, dealing with those guys. Shit! Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, great. And these guys in the water duck and punch. Nope. Dead. Okay. Do this again.
See, that's the best way to do it. Sneak up on them just far enough in the screen to be able to see them jumping, but not too far because they're going to run at you. Yeah, like that. Shit. Oh, my God. Ugh. Take your own advice, kid. Oh, my God. I hate these guys so much. Fuck you. Mm. Whatever. Keep on trucking. 3-1. Gotta get the 5-1 and then we climb the tower. Jump up here, hit this guy. Bam, bam, go down, go down. Right. Jump, hit. There we go, okay. Now I know that other guy's gonna be coming too. Shit, go. Okay, change it, there we go. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I'm talking about it, and then I don't do it. Here we go. Hit him. Shit. Nope. Time it. There we go. Fuck this guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're cool. I'm out. Alright guys, hold on one sec. Sorry guys, I'll be back in one sec. Shit! Mm. Oh my god, I'm so fucking dead. Mm. Okay. I heard I got soap on my head. <laughs> yeah, I got soap on my head. Yes. Exactly what happened. And the game comes with a warning that tells you that when you're playing it. There we go. Can see? Shoot him ahead. Be smart. Follow your own advice. Now the card. Fuck. Let's do this. Okay. Hit this guy. Keep on moving. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I freaking love these games so much. I don't, I don't know about um, you guys watching, but I'm sure if you're watching me play this, you're obviously a big fan of retro games. But um, it's funny I call them retro games now, you know, because they are, I guess. But at one point or another, when I was a kid, you know, this was modern. But that being said, I love new games. I do. I adore them. I have a blast playing my PS4 VR, seeing all the new stuff, but. Um, as soon as we got to a certain era of gaming, and again, don't get me wrong, I love them, like The Witcher 3, I think is one of the best American style, like, RPGs that I've ever played. Not JRPGs, but, like, American, you know, when you fall into, like, Sk Skyrim and Fallout and stuff and such. But the further we get sometimes with this, even though I love these games, and VR is... is God, I'm getting distracted, but VR is a totally different story. It's something that I've dreamed of that I love. There is, um, when it comes to regular console gaming, I always appreciate just playing my classic freaking games. Like, not having to wait for a game to be complete or to be fixed or, it, you know, every time you go and play one or to download for 40 hours. Just 
going back to the simplicity is so much more fun and it's exciting as hell like i get excited when i beat a modern game but not as much as i do when i beat these like when i beat ninja gaiden i just flipped out and i just felt so fucking gratified and there, it was just a feeling that i don't think you get exactly the same with a lot of modern games and that's not saying all of them they have amazing games you know i spent 140 60 hours playing dragon quest it's one of my favorite games of all time uh, all of the Dragon Quest games, and you know, those are RPGs, of course, those are different, and I feel very accomplished beating those games. But as I said, something about old school platformer, 8 bit, 16 bit style games, I just, something about these kind of games gives you this feeling that you just don't get with others. Um, even when I beat Fantasy Star and Master System, like I was, I had this super excitement because it was so hard, you know, being able to complete them, but I'm rambling and I apologize, but yeah. I love all forms of gaming, and I'm happy all forms exist. If I had to go to an island somewhere and I had the choice of between just modern and retro, that'd be a really hard pick for me because I want my Dreamcast and my NES and my Master System. You know, I'd, these are the games that um, I enjoy and I love the most. Although I don't want to overthink that too much because if I was going to be on that island alone, then I'd probably want a modern game because you can really uh, delve into them a bit more with a lot more time. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Let's keep going. Point is, I love these games. <laughs> anyway, it's actually recently that my uh, love for the NES kind of reignited. Not that it ever um, flamed out. It's just I um, went from this to you know my Genesis and everything like that and... Um, I've been playing my Dreamcats in all my uh, systems forever, and then um, I had this weird nostalgia with the NES, and I was like, eh, I don't necessarily want to uh, play a whole bunch of them, and, and then, um, I don't know, I grabbed the games and I started going back and playing all of these that I wanted to play, and just like with um, my Sega stuff and everything else, I just um, like fell back in love with the NES, like, and more so with the connection that I have. I've always loved it, but now I just feel this um, even bigger connection with it, and uh, it's just great. I don't know. This was also the first system I ever owned, and uh, yeah, very first one. I, if you don't count Donkey Kong, the Game & Watch with the two flip screens, it was the NES, so I have a lot of memories with the system. Great freaking, great, great freaking system. Okay. Dun, 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 shoot this guy. Do, do, do. Oh shit, come on. God dang it. Okay, those guys, you always jump up. Oh, I hate those guys. If you push forward enough, some of them disappear. I think when you, when you get to the top. But this one, I just need to jump and hit this guy. Get rid of him. Just go bye bye bye. Blah, 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 blah. There's a better way to do it than what I'm doing, but just do it this way. Okay. <laughs> This jackal, I'll just hit him with some magic. Let's jump up. And the wall jump, my favorite thing in the world. Oh, that's one thing I, 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 oh, no, hold on. Yeah, this guy, you can push him away. I know you can. God dang it, he does. If you shoot, you see him shoot and he move forward, he goes away, I promise you. I swear, see, he's gone. I can't even remember what I was gonna say a minute ago now. <laughs> I'm distracted, I'm sorry. Okay, I need to focus a little better. There we go. Jump. Bam. There we go. That's exactly how you do it. Okay, no. Fuck you. Stay away from me. Nobody likes you. Or just jump past him. I guess that works too. And jump. Hit. Keep going. Oh, fuck you. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what you trying to do, bitch? Oh my god, what am I even doing? Stop. <laughs> Stop. 
See? Gone. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going. I think I'm going to try to beat uh, Batman Returns, the driving stages of that game. Um, I might do the platform one too as a whole. Um, maybe I can figure out a way to like that game a little bit more. But uh, the driving stages are so much fun, I might have to do that. I love Sega CD. Okay, oh, no, no, no. let's go. Nope, go, 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 stop. Just keep jumping. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and... Oh fuck. These things drove me nuts the first time. Those gears right there, you cannot touch them. They will fuck you up. I swear to God. I know for a fact one reason these games were harder um, than games are nowadays is because when the whole rental thing came about, people didn't want you, or the developers didn't want you to be able to rent the game and beat it. So a lot of times they would make a difficulty spike towards the end that was ridiculous, like Ninja Gaiden, where you couldn't beat it in the amount of time you rented it and it would force you to go and buy it. That's what I heard. I don't know if that's a fact, but it really feels like that's the case. But now every time I beat one of these games, I'm just like, ha ha ha, bitches. Bam, that guy's gone too. Okay. Let's go. Getting ready for a boss. I think. Right? 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 Yep. This guy. Okay. Jump up. Get up here. Figure out the strategy for this guy. I'm probably still going to die. Okay. And then you jump again. Punch. Keep punching him. No oh, shit. Run. Okay. Jump before he can jump or he'll hit you. Go back. Duck. And keep punching. There you go. Then you go over here. Jump before he jumps or he'll hit you. Duck. Hit. Yeah. This is the strategy I'm going for on this. There's multiple strategies for this, but this one I'm doing. Okay. Shh. No, 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 no. Yep. There we go. <coughs> Jump. Go up. No, shit. Come on. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch you in the fucking bed. Go, go, go. Okay. Jump up. Punch, punch, punch. Maybe two more times. <coughs> or one more. Let's see. No, a few more. Come on. There we go. Easy peasy. This is the easiest way that I found to beat them personally myself. Okay. No. No. Okay. Go. Jump. Up. There you go. Go, 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 punch, punch, punch. Bam! Okay. Bye, bitch. Woof! Okay. Welcome, Batman. Why don't you look at my latest work of art? God, I love Tim Burton Batman movies. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And we're off to a great start. Oh, fuck me. Not these guys again. I hate these guys. Go away. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Those, those enemies are literally developed like they're a freaking magnet that sticks to you automatically every time. Yep, fuck you. Let's pull out the weapon. And you're going to die. No, nope. shit, jump. I'm gonna have to jump and do this. Shit. There we go. Shit. Okay, just spamming a bit here. We need to get some health and some missiles. Back. Whenever you jump, these guys come by faster. 
There we go. Cut. We just run. Oh my god. Go! Boomerangs. Hardest spam right here. I'm trying some hearts or something. Oh my god, I just got a heart and then get hit. Come on. Okay, that was bad. I'm gonna die. Okay, good. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, now let's get this done. Yeah, hit this freaking asshole before you can pop up in front of the screen like he always likes to and attack me. Don't think so, bitch. Time to get some spam and done. Shit. I don't know why I'm talking like this right now. Bit of my southern roots coming back. A snake in your boat. I love this music, but sometimes I still want to hear the Tim Burton music. <laughs> Come on, okay, we're good. Full health. We should have. Enough missiles now, let's keep going. Fuck you. No. Hit this guy, get up here. Yeah, we're gonna need this. I know there's another guy coming up ahead, I think. I thunk. Shit. Oh my god, just get down. No. Oh my god. I'm be better off punching that guy. Okay. Let's see how much uh, health we got. Two bars. Oh boy. <laughs> I love those screens in the background too. There we go. Does somebody give me a heart? Come on. Assholes, time to get him. Yeet. Jump up, there we go. Jump up again, there we go. You're done. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, a heart. Let me get it. Whew, okay. Next part. Yeah, 
This game isn't actually very long, and I feel like I want to try to master it at some point, like just shoot through and figure out everything I can do. In the meantime, I'm just happy to get through it and beat it. I beat it before, so I will of course beat it now, because if you're watching this game, this means that I've beaten it, otherwise I won't upload it. I don't know if I ever stated this, but for the record, um, all my capturing is done on original hardware. Um, so this is done on the original NES and I normally uh, do it through uh, some kind of up converter, um, normally SCART to HDMI. Um, in the case of this, uh, the NES, I don't have it modded, so I can only have composite. So I did plug it into an HDMI up converter, which doesn't make a huge difference because the fact that uh, it's more about what it's outputting, but it did clean it up running it through an HDMI a bit and um, made it look less blurry and nicer, which is good. Um, I do plan on getting it modded, but every other one of my systems like Saturn, Dreamcast, uh, Sega Genesis, CD, all of them are um, modded. But yeah, I always use uh, original hardware, although when the uh, Sega Genesis Mini comes out, if I don't have the game, I will use it on that. That is still hardware from the company, even if and uh, even if it's still technically emulation. Um, and I might do that for the uh, Turbo Graphic if I get it. Anyways, shit. Talking too much. Okay. Oh, uh, this level again. Go jump! There we go, we're down, jump. Let's try to avoid these assholes over here. Nope, let's fall right down to them instead. That's a better idea. Okay, jump, jump. Nope, you gotta time this right. There we go. Shit! There we go, okay. Okay, here we go. Nope, those oh, fuck. So don't touch that. Boomerang this guy, or actually. You can just jump up and punch him. There we go. Gotta jump really lightly during these parts so you don't hit everything. Like, just jump right here. If you full press it, you're gonna slam right into the top. which I do here. Okay, I gotta jump up on the ledge on the left, I believe, and jump over that. I always end up hitting it, but hold on. Yo, damn it. I hit it anyways. Whatever. Let's keep going. Okay, do it on this one. Jump up and jump over. Go! There we go. Okay. Whew. Oh my god, 4-3. We're almost getting to, uh, the final tower here, guys. Almost, but I gotta make it through here. I basically just run and drop. Oh, my health was low. That's my strategy. Just run and fucking drop. I'm sure they're the, maybe they're the better one, but I don't see it. I feel like you just run and drop and jump and try to avoid everything. Sometimes they get lucky and only get hit once. Okay, let's do a little spamming. Some missiles. Get ourselves ready for, uh... The next boss, which I believe is the cube boxes. Batman versus giant cube boxes. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie uh, Cube. Uh, not any of the sequels or prequels, but it was basically about a bunch of guys that um, they wake up and they're in the middle of this structure. They don't know how big it is. They don't know what's going on. But in each room, there's like one, two, three, there's like four different exits. One on the roof, one on the ground, 
left and right and they need to go through each of these traps and they're trying to get through to make it out somehow and there's like this mathematician in there who's uh, autistic and very smart and it's a crazy awesome movie but if you go through the wrong one uh, traps will set off and they will murder you I would love to see a superhero movie version of Cube get fucking Batman um, get one of the bad guys for the, in Batman 2 maybe Joker, Penguin, uh, Catwoman um, you name it uh, maybe mix up some Marvel characters in there like a little crossover um, not sure who I would put in there uh, yeah, you could throw an Iron Man or something like that and I think it'd be really cool to have a, a fucking superhero version of the movie Cube and them trying to make it out <laughs> I think that would actually be incredibly ep epic Batman is bulky and he doesn't particularly have any um, you know real actual super superpowers so you know he'd be more just like this bulky human trying to make it through there but he does have his gadgets and stuff which would help him a lot and I have no idea which one I think would do the best but you might not even know what I'm talking about but if you don't look up the movie cube and watch it and I don't know why but I just want this movie to exist with uh, nothing but superheroes that would be the coolest thing in the world. Catwoman would actually be really great. Um, I can tell uh, flipping through some of these cubes and jumping out. And uh, who else? Huh. I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'll come up with a list myself. But yeah. I thought that would be a cool idea. Okay, fuck this guy. Let's jump up here. I think you can get to the top and then duck down and hit him, but I'm going to get up here and then I'm going to hit him with uh, something for my weapons belt. I think right where we are. Okay, one, two, duck. Okay, keep duck and then shoot. Duck, shoot, duck, shoot. Shoot. There we go. Getting closer. Still a bit to go. <laughs> it was really cool when I decided to first start doing this series, uh, Alucard versus the Classics. I remember. I think the first one I posted up was that. Uh, Ninja Gaiden and I told my uh, buddy Javier and I kept uh, sending him pictures of my progress and I showed him the last level like getting to the final stage and or up to that point he's like dude I can make it up to there he's like now seeing you beat the ending yeah let's see if you can actually do that and then I ended up um, it took me a while but I ended up uh, getting it down and almost perfecting it I got really really good at it and he was like holy shit and then Ninja Gaiden 2, he said the same thing. Oh, yeah, we'll see if you beat the next one. So I don't think he's going to say that anymore when it comes to these. But um, it kind of uh, spurs my motivation even more, to be honest. <laughs> my buddy Javier is awesome. In fact, Javier is the reason why the audio on this video is so great. Because he gave us a uh, Samson Meteor mic that I am currently using. And I'm incredibly grateful. Makes the... Uh, commentary so much better for you guys this is another upgrade uh, to our channel and i hope you enjoy it anyways keep focusing jump over we're getting really really close to the boss here oh i'm gonna fucking die no i'm not gonna die hold on to the batmobile let's go atomic batteries to power turbines to speed roger ready to move out different strategies for beating this part but let's see I'm trying to remember what I did the first time
Okay, I'm not sure if you guys, by the way, um, caught a glitch, but on my screen it seemed to have froze up while I was capturing, so in case you didn't see what was going on there, I died and I'm running back to them. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Okay, I really need to try to focus here, so try not to speak too much. Jump, 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 stay on, stay on, stay on, jump, go down here. Every time you're up here, you just, when you, it's very important, you want to go back to kill this guy, so we're going to shoot him right now. Get rid of him so we don't have to worry, and then you always want to drop directly below where you are when you can't move any further, because you're falling onto these wheels like this, and then jump and keep tapping. There we go. And jump, jump. There we go. Okay. Back over here. Oh my god, just wait for him to come. There we go. Nope. Jump up, hit. 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 Pass. The cranberry sauce for having mashed potatoes. No, the turkey looks great. Thank you for loving me, Lynn. Thank you for being there, Lynn. Thank you for loving me. Everyone's thinking, the whole world's thinking you. Thinking us, thinking you. Lynn, kill the turkey. Sorry, I'm sitting in Bob's Burgers. Trying to distract myself from running through this level again. Hit him, okay. Just jump up and keep punching this guy. I don't want to have to um, run back up the stage again, but if I have to, it's no big deal. But I think I know my strategy for getting these guys. Let's try to fill up here with some hearts. Yay, I'm getting a bunch of hearts. Okay, let's run. Jump. Keep going. Oh, my nose is so stuffy, guys. I'm so sorry if you keep hearing me go. I have really bad sinuses, like, all the time. And right now, they're not good. And they're making me nasally. Nasally. Jump. Here we go. I've seen a lot of different ways to beat this, but this is what I'm going to do. Ugh. Starting right now. Uh